Hello, welcome back to another electrical video. So we've already looked at wiring up my battery bank, wiring in my solar panel, wiring up the VSR, but today we're going to be looking at wiring my 12 volt fuse box and adding that to the system, um, as well as installing a Victron battery protect. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen the other videos, um, I'll link them in the description below. But first of all, let's have a look at my circuit diagram again and what we'll be looking at today. So um, here's my full circuit diagram. Um, and today we're going to be looking at this section. So you've got the 12 volt fuse box here, negative wire going straight into the negative bus bar, then the positive wire going to a kill switch, to a 100 amp fuse, and then to my battery protect, and then to the positive bus bar. And here are the components that I'm going to be using today. So I've got the 12 volt fuse box, which comes with fuses. Um, I've got the Victron uh, battery protect, which I'll go into a bit more detail about later. Um, I've got a kill switch, a 100 amp fuse and a fuse holder, red and black 16 millimeter cable, a mixture of eight millimeter and 10 millimeter cable lugs, um, and then some heat shrink. Now there is an argument that rather than using a kill switch and a fuse, you could just use a circuit breaker because it kind of does the same thing. And it means that you're having to make less cuts in the wire which then means you're reducing the chance of voltage drop. However, I'm just being difficult, I think. Now I've chosen a 100 amp fuse because this 16 millimeter cable has a 110 amp rating. So using a 100 amp fuse means that that fuse will trip before the maximum current is uh, reached in the wire. So the way this little fuse box works is you connect the positive cable to the top, negative cable to the bottom. Um, and then all your 12 volt appliances, so lights, fridge, um, heater, my fans, they'll all wire to these positive terminals that are down the side here and the negative to the bottom. Um, and then you have slots for their own fuses. So yeah, basically all 12 volt appliances will be coming through this thing, which is cool. Now the way that this little beauty works, the um, smart battery protects from Victron so it goes sort of between your um, 12 volt fuse box and your battery um, and what it does is it sort of it senses the capacity of your battery so as I've sort of covered in my um, the battery video you only really want to be charging depending on the battery but you only really want to be charging your discharging your battery down to 50% and then when you start getting below below that you can start doing sort of damage to your battery so what this does is it senses when your um, batteries get down to 50% and then it automatically just turns off um, all the loads that are attached to it. So in this case, all the 12 volt stuff, which means that um, sort of your system will stay on in terms of all the, the rest of the system, but your batteries won't get damaged, which is kind of cool. And obviously I got the bloody Bluetooth version, didn't I? So yeah, we'll go over how this wires up as well. So if you haven't seen any of my videos at the moment, this is my, my housing at the moment. So I've got the negative bus bar here, the positive bus bar here, connected to my leisure batteries underneath. So you can see I've already drawn it out. So my fuse box is going to sit here, battery protect here, kill switch here, um, and then I've got the fuse underneath. Um, I'm just going to fix everything in place now uh, before cutting some wiring. There we go, look, both in place. Um, I'm gonna to wait to put the kill switch in because it's a little bit fiddly underneath. Um, so I'm gonna attach the wires first before I fix it down to place. So next I just need to sort of um, cut the wires. This time, unlike last time, I'm gonna to remember to press record because that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah. So there we go, look, got five cables cut, got the logs that I'm gonna use. Um, now I'm just gonna strip each wire with this little guy, then crimp them then heat shrink them. All my wires are crimped. So that's just uh, a case of heat shrinking them.
heat shrunk, crimped, ready to wire. I'm going to start by um, wiring my two cables to the kill switch because it's a little bit fiddly. You'll notice that I've got these right angle lugs because when it goes in like that there's not enough space for a flat wire inside. So that's good. Wired. So now I'm going to put it in the hole. So now that's fastened down. Let's get wiring, I guess. Right, so I've connected the, few, uh, the kill switch underneath that goes to the positive end of the fuse box. And then I've connected the other end of the um, kill switch to the fuse, the 100 amp fuse here. So next, I'm just gonna do the negative cable. So it's literally gonna go from here um, to this negative bus bar. Now I'm going to wire up the Victron battery protect. One end, the in end, is the end that connects to the battery. So in this case, that's the positive bus bar. And then the out goes to the loads. So in this case, it will go to the fuse, which is underneath here. So battery protect to fuse. I'm going to connect the negative cable next. So the ground negative cable goes in here. So lastly, this positive cable is going to go from the positive bus bar to the in part of the battery bank. We have a light. We'll check out the app in a second. But the last thing I'm going to do is just label this. Twelve. There we go. Look, twelve volts. Um, I'm going to leave it off for now because I don't have any anything uh, coming out of the fuse box at the moment, so there's no point in keeping it on. But let's check the app, the exciting part, and check that it's uh, it's working. So Victron app. There you look, you can see all my three things, solar, battery monitor, and battery protect. Battery protect. There we go, look. So it can monitor the state, the voltage of my battery. Now, I believe what I'll need to do is edit the presets because obviously you can, um, you can set it up with a certain preset depending on what type of battery you have and obviously where it's, um, how far down you want it to discharge before it alerts you. So I'm gonna to have to be looking through the manual in a minute and uh, and find out. So just to recap, now that everything is wired up, we've got positive bus bar to the battery protect, the battery protect to the fuse, which is under here, fuse to the kill switch, and then the kill switch goes to the fuse box. And then the negative end goes straight to the negative bus bar. And that's it. Next, I'm going to be looking at, there's a big space missing here. Got an inverter to put in there. So um, yeah, I'll see you then. If you've got any questions or anything, uh, just pop them in the comments and take it easy.